Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the start of a new series on Ostrith. Uh, Alpha 5 has been released uh, recently, and uh, we're up to patch level 2. But there's still there's still some glitches with uh, with this patch level uh, that I'm sure the developers are working on. But I'm going to give it a, a, a start here and see what kind of problems we run into. So, uh, we'll, we'll, there, there are some, some changes here. Uh, we'll go with new game. Uh, where uh, stone and uh, limestone are more useful. Uh, now, we can import those, uh, as I understand it. So, uh, we don't have to worry about the limited uh, resource on the map. Now... Now we can get unlimited limestone on map one, uh, and unlimited iron on map two. Uh, all the rest are just limited stone and uh, and uh, limestone. Right. Now I was uh, looking around here. I don't like the limited building area in map eight, uh, although it would be good for fishing by the look of it. Map nine looks interesting, but I'm not sure I want to go with that one. Uh, map six has a looks like it has pretty good building area uh, and an island. Uh, map seven uh, again looks like it's got a decent building area. Uh, map four is uh, is the one that I think I want to go with on this one. So I'm going to grab map four and I'm going to pause the game immediately. So the first thing I'm going to do. Yeah, is um, find the edge of the map. Yeah. Okay. So, right. So, I it, now uh, we got to place the camp. That's the first thing we have to do. And it has to be on this side of the river because this side's inaccessible, right? Uh, now, I did some uh, scouting before starting here. The entrance to the map, as you can see, is right here. You, uh, you might notice it lit up. Uh, it says place is occupied. That's where uh, land uh, uh, transport comes into the town. So uh, that's going to be uh, where I start, start out. And if you give me a moment, uh, something just came up. So I'm going to pause this and, uh, deal with that. Okay. Well, that was, uh, inconvenient, but it, it was, uh, time sensitive. Right. Okay. So I'm not going to put the camp right there. Uh, I do want the camp, uh, relatively close because I'm going to use this as the, uh, starting seed point for the town. Uh, and you know, I'm going to put the camp. Um, uh, the question is, where can, where's the thatch going to be? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we got lots of trees over here, so this is actually not a bad location. So. Uh, I'm going to try just putting it here. That may sink me in the end, but uh, yeah. Now, uh, the the absolutely critical thing is we need a forestry, right? Uh, and I think that should be close to the big batch of trees here. Yeah. Um, so I could put it here, right? Uh, so I, I need the forestry and I'm going to need a clay pit. Uh, a clay pit, right? We can dig for clay over here. Uh, we can't, can't here. 
Ah. Let's just put one there. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to need also to have a uh, smithy thingy. Yeah. I'm going to need a smithy. Uneven terrain. Oh, wait. Come on. Yeah, there we go. You put the smithy there. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to need a Thatcher thingy. Um, a thatchery. Now, this is going to be less than ideal because I, I haven't figured out where, you know, I'm just going to drop this, I'm going to drop that over there just to, to uh, put it somewhere. Now, I'm going to now start adding houses. Now, uh, right. Ah, there is a slower rotate. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put uh, house over several houses over here. Uh, it's okay if it has to remove trees. Why am I doing it this way? Because I can. So that's four, five, six, seven. Uh huh. Eight. Nine. So we need nine houses before uh, winter. And that's. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, right. Uh, right. Uh, okay. And now, uh, I'm going to move the thatchery back in the queue and the smithy back in the queue. Right. Uh, there is something else that I need. I need a cart shed. Um, cart shed, yeah. Wait, what? Cart parking, that's what I need, yeah. Um... Yeah, I guess I can put that... I'm going to put one of those here. Oh, I keep doing that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put that here. I'm going to put uh, market stalls there, too. Uh, right. And I guess I'm going to need a, a well up here as well. And, yeah. Uh, now, what do we have here for, um, we have, yeah, and we're going to need food as well. Uh, so, yeah. 
But I think we can survive through to the next uh, spring. But now let's uh, let's get the uh, time rolling here, and now we can observe the uh, people uh, building things. And the forestry should be the first thing built, which is here. Okay. Yeah, and it just needs uh, uh, lumber and nails, so we should be fine there. Uh, as I've uh, said before on these, uh, you know, like watching these uh, uh, things happening, I, I just love the the uh, setup here with all of the the animations and everything are, are really uh, really solid, right? Uh, so we can see here that uh, these guys they're building a uh, they're building a thing and they're walking back and forth collecting everything. It's it's all quite um, quite exciting. Now, decoration. What do we have under decorations here? That's um, yeah, fences and stuff. What do we have under here? Pavement. Oh, we can pave things. So I'd be able to come up here, uh, wherever my uh, gap is there. And, you know, pave things. Huh. Oh, okay. So I could come up here and, you know, come down like this, for instance. Do this. Oh, sweet! Nice! Okay. I, I get how that's going to work. Oh, that'll make things look nicer, being able to do pavement. Yeah, that will will make things nicer. Oh, and this is... Oh, this is constructing. Uh, nice. Um, oh, we have all the builders, basically, so, yeah. Right. Yeah, and then I'll need to hire uh, two um, uh, forestry guys, and uh, those guys will will go ahead and and do a bunch of uh, tree chopping, uh, including the trees over here. Now it is going to take a little longer to do the construction up here because of the distance from the camp, uh, and that's. Uh, I really should have built the camp a little further up there, but uh, yeah, and I, I, the reason I've left it on uh, one speed is I want to see if it actually uh, it performs a little better doing that. Uh, although I may end up uh, speeding it up just to get through this bit, but I have this feeling that uh, there, there's some time glitches on the higher speeds where some things happen slower than they should. Uh, where uh, instead of uh, slowing the simulation down to accommodate the calculation that's needed, calculations get deferred and uh, time passes even though it shouldn't yet. Um, I mean, it's a hard thing to get right when you've got a, a real-time type simulation like this, right? Oh, look, there's, uh, there's uh, ladies there hanging out. Uh, and if we just take a boo here. 
take a boo. Yeah, have a look. You can observe they're building the building there. Um, yeah, it takes a minute to do all this building, you know. I, I mean, yeah, you can see that they're walking through the construction while they're doing the construction work and everything else, but uh, having the stuff built stick-wise, you know, even if it's, uh, you know, some level of abstracted, uh, you know, it's kind of cool, you know, watching the buildings go up, right? That's something that, uh, if you're new to Ostrov, which you may be, uh, it's it might be worth observing that it works very well under Proton. So, uh, if you're if you're uh, running under Linux, uh, you know, for your uh, gaming, uh, you know, or whatever, uh, Ostrov has worked under Wine since basically day one, and it works really well under Proton as well. Uh, it had some issues uh, with uh, settings where you had to uh, launch the settings and switch the uh, window mode or something uh, back in the earlier days. I'm not sure if that's still the case. But it's working well in a borderless window where the like, it's, not, uh, it's not capturing the mouse, uh, which is really great for those of us uh, working on multi-monitors. And you can see here, the forestry is going up. Yeah, so I want to take uh, take this uh, Ostrov uh, playthrough and a little more uh, sedately than the previous ones that I've done, uh, where you know things kind of just happen, you know. Uh, yeah. Right. I'm just observing what the uh, I'm just observing the families here. Uh, so we have the these guys, right? And we have these guys, yeah, and these guys who have two kids. Oh, and these guys also have two kids. So there's four kids, two there. Six kids, and one there, seven kids, nine. So there's lots of children here we started with. Yeah, lots of children. So we've got basically... Uh, oh, we've completed the forestry. So uh, I need to hire two workers here. And I need two workers so that we can actually harvest trees. Right? Uh, we are actually building a clay pit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so you need clay to... Uh, to actually get your uh, your houses built, right? So uh, it, it, it's for plaster and stuff, right? So, um, right. And but it's kind of neat that clay pits don't build instantly anymore. Yeah. Right, just, there we go, we've got the clay pit. Now, it should be time to, there's infinite clay still in the clay pit, so uh, we should be collecting resources now for building a house. And these guys should be Um, yeah, they're coming up here to, uh, cut a couple trees. Yep. 
So they'll clear the trees out of here while the... Well, that... Oh, is that... Why are they... Oh, that's the entry point. Ah, okay, yeah. So they'll be clearing trees out. Uh, in the meantime, we've got... Uh, you are... Yeah, we got stuff going up here by cart. Yeah, it'll take a minute. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I just want to check here. So we need thatch, 420, 420, 420. So... So 420 times 3 is uh, 1260, and then 390 is uh, 1650, yeah, and then 2070, uh, 25, 20, 29, 40, 3360 30 3800 and some uh how much thatch do i have ooh it's tight okay yeah it's tight but i can move this all the way to the back you can come up, maybe build you in the middle there. Yeah, okay. So nails are about... Uh, nails are about uh, 100 for each, huh? Yeah, nails are about a hundred for each. So what do I have for for uh, nails? Yeah, okay. There should be enough nails as well. Uh, right. Uh, so the smithy can go back here as well. Okay. Wait, how much does the smithy need? Yeah. Okay. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, right. And here we have a house uh, constructing. Now, I do kind of wish multiple... Um, I'm going to put that back here. I do wish multiple constructions could operate simultaneously uh, if you had sufficient builders or something like that, but... Uh, that doesn't seem like it's uh, it's going to be the case. One tree has been removed from that house, so there is that. Uh, right, we do have uh, we do have uh, boards, uh, wood being uh, uh, processed there, so that is good. Now we're halfway through March right and we're working on the first house uh, yeah so that's uh, that's progress uh, if we take a look here um, yeah um, we come up here uh, we need a whole bunch of stuff and our builders are bringing it so this is cool uh, so we've got uh, what do we need a bunch more clay right and we need a bunch more a bunch more wood right and thatch we need thatch but it won't bring the thatch until it's time right I think. 
Right. Oh, that is that is cool. Uh, just watching the uh, the guys do their thing. I mean, it'd be cool if uh, construction in real life worked kind of like this, where you carry the thing over and then it magically uh, just switches to what you need, where you need it. Uh, like, that would be really cool, but, you know, real life doesn't work that way. Right. Well, uh, that is definitely stuff is being delivered, so that is definitely good. I am going to need a carpentry as well. Uh, carpentry? No, it's in here. Carpentry. Carpentry. Um... Yeah, I'll need that to make carts and repair carts and everything. So, so that's the idea there. Uh, yeah, uh, something that I could could be doing as well is uh, building a uh, yeah, houses with larger yards. Uh, but uh, one something with the the previous updates is that your villagers uh, with gardens. They will. Act, they can actually sell their produce to the uh, town and make it available for other villagers to use, right? Uh, to purchase uh, if if you build a granary, right? So so that's kind of cool. Uh, so it makes the uh, the houses with uh, yards, uh, you know, more uh, more beneficial, right? Uh, if they overproduce compared to what they need, right? then you know things uh things go uh pretty uh they, they go uh, pretty well you know and then they get a little bit of uh you know money um uh for their the uh their uh money pile and it uh, helps feed the uh, the town right um right where is the ah oh they're processing the logs okay uh, does it make sense to put a third third guy do i have um Okay, I could put a third guy in here. Possibly. Um, yeah. If I put a third guy in here, does that mean uh, two can uh, harvest and uh, one guy can... Hmm. Ah, there's two guys going up there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, with three guys, it looks like they can harvest trees and the, other, the last guy can process things. Ah, okay. So that, that could be a, a thing. Now this here... Uh, it just needs 50 wood and uh, the thatch to uh, complete it. So, uh, yeah. So up here, aha, uh -huh, we can observe. Okay, we got one log, one more log there. Yep. 
And there's three more. There's still four trees in the way. Or is it or is this tree not actually in the way? Huh. Well, we'll see. Now um oh, something that I, I wanna do. Uh I wanna put a bench up here. Um yeah, we'll we'll put a bench up here. Uh, you know, a bench right about here. Uh, it does seem like something that might be useful. Then the builders can take a rest there, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So we got our guy delivering things. Yeah. Okay. And in we go with the stuff. Yeah, okay. That's that's definitely uh progress. And, yeah, that's all of the, that's all of the clay, I think. Ah, we got a guy coming to actually do the building now. Right. So, progress is going to happen. Yeah, the last bits of clay are, are arriving. Okay. Yeah, okay. Good. So that's the clay. And we have... Guys took another log away. Yep. Okay. Uh, we'll be able to just keep moving houses in front of this one. Uh, until uh, until it uh, ends up with a uh, all the uh, trees moved. Uh, yeah. So that needs to that needs to complete building and right. You know, I should probably put a bench over here, too. Uh, I don't know, here? Sure. And you are taking a rest, taking a rest, taking a rest. Yep. Always with the taking a rest. And you are bringing wood yeah oh the thatch is on the way yeah that's good so this uh will this finish going up in uh in march no i'm not sure that it will Yeah, I'm going to let it uh, run through completing the house and we'll observe the family moving into it and then see where where things uh, things go. Yeah, I might uh, I might actually uh, run things forward a little bit uh, faster. Uh, or between parts or something like that run the time forward a bit but you know uh, eh, there's some thatch coming in
Right. Now, I think I think speeding it up a little to, to speed 2 is probably going to be uh, reasonably smart. Just to let some things actually get done uh, in a reasonable time frame, right? It is interesting seeing the order of all of this. Yeah. I don't want to know how much time it took the uh, developer to uh, time all of this out, sequence the construction and everything. Uh, I really am not sure I want to know. <laughs> Yeah, we're into April here, so... Oh, we're uh, building walls now. Okay. We have until December, I think, before the snow flies. And uh, I think that is when uh, the families that are still in tents leave. All right, and they're they're already bringing materials to the next one on the list, so that is good. Now we're putting up the uh, roof and. Okay, now we'll uh, slow the game back down. Now, if we observe, a family here will uh, will move in. The Zubko family. Yeah, so we got this family here is moving to a house. So if we let that uh, go for a moment, they will, in fact, uh, take down their tent and uh, head on to the house. Family is out of water. Why are they out of water? Um, right. Uh, if we go a little bit faster here, uh, I think they need to not be working to, uh, to make the move. Um, where are these guys? Why is the why is the tent still there? Um, right. Anyway, uh, the next house is constructing already. So I'm going to put the cut here and next time we'll come back and we'll be getting more houses constructed and that will be, uh, that will be progress.
and uh, then we'll see. Uh, ah, here we go. There we go. They they got the uh, the tent down, and they're moving up to their house. Okay. Uh, right. I think this needs to move up to here. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to I'm going to put the cut here, so I'll just mention on the way out. I do have a Patreon if for some reason you want to support the channel. Uh, you'll find the link for that in the description. Uh, or if you don't want to support the channel, well, the link will still be in the description and you can ignore it. And I guess all that said, see you back next time.